Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my April favourite, so I'm just going to get straight right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is this little guy. It may just look like a memory stick to you guys or flash stick or whatever you want to call it. But this is the most amazing thing I've ever come across. If you are like me, who likes to go to gigs, who likes to travel and vlog or record footage or just take pictures, but you're also like me and you have a storage issue, this little guy will save your life. It's basically, in all intents and purposes, a memory stick for your phone. And all you have to do is literally hook this bit in to your phone, like so, and basically all you need to do then is to download the free app on iTunes. I'm pretty sure they also do this for any other smartphones, Androids, I'm pretty sure they do this as well. Um, download the app, it's completely free. Once you've downloaded the app, go into the app and then if you want to record anything or take pictures use the camera option on the app instead of the camera on your phone and basically what that does is once you start recording through the app all the footage whether it's videos whether it's pictures gets stored to this little guy instead of your phone memory and once you are done with it you just take it out and this bit, the USB part of it, you can stick into your USB port of your laptop or computer and instantly transfer all the footage from this little guy onto your laptop. Or, if you want it to stay on your phone, keep this little guy within your phone, within your phone, in your phone, delete any footage that you've already got on your phone go back to the app and then there's a transfer option in the app that will let you transfer any footage that you have on this little guy and it will transfer onto your phone. It's super super easy, this little guy by itself is about £50. Um, I got this purely because I like to travel and I've been to a lot of gigs in the past two months so I was that person about six weeks ago who was furiously deleting footage off her phone to try and get a video from the gig. So if you don't want to be that person, you want to invest in one of these guys. So moving on is the first of a lot of makeup, I am sorry. But this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless. And I am in the lightest shade going because I'm cast with friendly girls, which I mention like nearly every video, but shh. Um, this little guy is an absolute godsend. I absolutely love it. I, like many others, have combinated skin. So my t is really oily, but then the rest of my skin, the outer parts of my face is dry. And it gets to the point where you're on a night out or you're halfway through the day and your face just looks like an oil slick. And nobody wants to look like an oil slick. But this little guy has saved my life so many times. I have tried so many different matte foundations and they just look disgusting on me, but this one is just a dream come true. I can apply it at eight o'clock in the morning just to my T-zone and I use a different foundation for the exterior part of my face. So I can apply this at eight o'clock in the morning and by the time it's three, four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm only just becoming oily. So I do a a little bit of a touch up with some powder and some blotting paper and then I'm good to go for the rest of the day whether or not I keep my makeup on for another six hours or whatever. With this foundation I'm only touching up once during the day and it's just absolutely amazing. This foundation is super blendable, it's full coverage, it's everything a girl and boy wants for oily skin. It keeps you matte, it doesn't rub off, it sticks to your face like super glue and it just it's just so flawless and it's matte and it does exactly what it says it does, matte and poreless. It makes your skin look like there's no pores in it, it makes it look super flawless, super seamless and it's just everything, it's just everything. This is my holy grail right now, I absolutely love it. Yes. And sticking to foundations, this is the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani, I think. I've spoken about this in previous videos 
I'm pretty sure I've spoken about this in previous videos. I love this foundation. Also, with it, with it being Giorgio Armani, it is a little bit pricey, I will have to say. But I bought this with my Christmas money off a, off a limb, thinking, oh, it might work, it might not. But pairing this foundation up with this one is just absolutely amazing. I'll put this in the centre like I've just said and I'll put this on my exterior parts of my face. I'm currently wearing these two foundations today and I absolutely just, I love the formula of this foundation. I absolutely love it. It is amazing. It's flawless. It's illuminating. It just applies really nicely. It's super blendable. Price tag not so great. I would love it a little bit cheaper, but it's Giorgio Armani. You, you know. I just love this foundation, and I cannot get enough of this foundation. And sadly, I am running out. Pray for me, guys. Pray for me. Also, ignore this mop of a hairdo. It. No amount of hairspray or dry shampoo or texture spray is saving this today. I know I need a haircut. I'm braving it, it's a bad hair day, please forgive me that my hair's just being all wild and bushy and doing things that it's not meant to do today. But moving on very quickly from my hair, um, this is the Bare Minerals Blemish Ready Mattifying Prep Gel, i.e. it's a mattifying primer, and I love this. There's nothing else to really say that I absolutely love this. Once I have applied this primer all over my face, avoiding my eyes, it blends in, it absorbs into my skin really nicely, it leaves a little bit of a like a tacky texture afterwards which I absolutely love because feeling the primer that goes tacky gives you the reassurance that any foundation or concealers or any kind of makeup that you stick on top of it is going to stick to it, it's not going to rub away or melt away or run away, it's going to stay and I absolutely love this about this primer. I, until now, tried so many different primers radiant primers matte primers just every single kind of primer you can think of i have tried and not one has come anywhere close to this and this is the best primer by far that i will ever come across and probably the only primer i will ever use period next is this myx and i know I'm aware that I probably say this brand completely different to everybody else. I call it NYX and a lot of people call it NYX. I am very aware of that, so don't judge me if I'm calling something completely different to how you pronounce it. That's just how I am. But this is the Cheek Contour Duo Palette and I am in the lightest shade, which is probably like Ghost. That's probably what they should call this, Ghost, not Ivory or Pale or Fair, just Ghost. But this is what the palette looks like. I, when I first tried this, my contour was somewhat harsh. <laughs> it looked like sideburns, literally, it looked really bad. These are so pigmented and I wish someone had pre-warned me on how pigmented these were because there's me blending it out. Oh girl, I automatically grew a beard within seconds. It was so harsh, but like they say all the time, a little bit goes a long way and I should have listened to that the first time round, but oh well. Um, but no, these are so pigmented. I love the contour shade, which I'm wearing now. I absolutely love this and I also love the highlight. It's not an intense highlight. It's not, oh my god, look at her, she's beaming to the gods. It's a really nice, subtle, natural highlight. And as much as I love my highlight, and I love glitter, and I love sparkling to the gods, and the moons, and everything, and looking like... I don't know where I'm going with this. I also like subtle highlight, and... which is what I'm wearing today as well. I absolutely love these. They're really easy to blend out. They're really soft. Very pigmented. Can't emphasise enough on how pigmented this is. <laughs> Carrying on with the highlighters, this is the NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter in the shade Crystal Glare. This is a very subtle highlight. It's not too intense. It's not too pigmented either, I find. I find that if you want a really intense glow, you're like constantly layering it. But it's such a pretty colour. There is other colours in this as well. 
But this is such a pretty subtle, natural, highlighted glow, a healthy glow. And it looks amazing under any highlight that you stick on top, whether that's a Jeffree Star highlight or if that's um, the Strawberry Genius palette highlight on top. It looks amazing by itself. It looks amazing under other highlighters. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that really well, but it's such a subtle highlight, a really nice shimmer shade. Gives you like a really nice healthy glow and I'm kind of feeling more of the subtle healthy looking glows now this time of year than in your face looking like a unicorn. <laughs> so for all my combinated and oily skin type friends, these and any other blotting papers are your best friends. I love these, they're drugstore so they're super affordable and these are the matte blotting paper. They also had like a tea tree one which normally if I see tea tree I automatically like get drawn to it because I know tea tree works wonders for the skin but I stuck with the plain simple original most likely matte blotting papers because when I first tried these I legit thought I picked up tracing paper I looked at my friend I was like have I just bought blotting papers or have I bought tracing paper and it's amazing. It's actually absolutely amazing. You just dab it on. I shouldn't be too oily because I have literally just done my makeup. So should be too oily. But just dab it on the places that you normally get oily. And it picks up the oil. But it leaves your makeup looking fresh. Looking amazing. Flawless. And matte. And just makes your face look like you've just put your makeup on and you haven't actually put it on 10 hours before. It's amazing and it's actually really easy. It's quite compact as well. So for you girls who go on night out and you're like, I'm really oily, just tap the paper onto your nose or wherever you are oily and you are good to go. Your makeup is still there. You're still looking flawless. You're still looking cute. And it's like the best thing ever. Like whoever invented blotting paper, I thank you so much. I love you so much for inventing this for people like me who have the struggles every day of oily skin. Thank you. Yes. But moving on to this rose gold palette by Makeup Obsession. And before you start commenting, oh my god, you're missing bits. It's one of those palettes that you can refill. So yes, I am missing three currently. And that's purely because this one down here is for my brows. This one is a blush. And these two, four, six, seven pigments are eyeshadows. And I'll try to keep them together. So this one and these two are probably going to be eyeshadow refills as well. But I think I mentioned these eyeshadows before by Makeup Obsession, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I matched them in my last favourites video. They're super pigmented, really creamy formula, really soft, super blendable, and they're just really, really pretty colours, so hence why I've bought a ton more. <laughs> I absolutely love these colours. I think they're just... I think they're really pretty. Even though they look fairly earth tones, natural tones, you know, the nude shades... They're still really pretty and I'm like everybody else. I love a good bronze nude look. I don't know one person that doesn't love a nice bronzy look and I absolutely love bronzy looks so I always go for nudes and earth tones and I love rose gold so hence the rose gold palette. I'm kind of watching it in my mirror here just like... I love it. Moving on to skincare and this is the Bare Minerals True Oasis Oil Free Replenishing Gel Cream and I have been using this for about a month now, about six weeks give or take and I absolutely love this. I, at the start of April, end of March, I was having really bad problems with my skin, on my face that is, and I haven't really had a moisturiser that's actually been targeting the problematic skin then it's just been an all over moisturizer and it's just made me look like an oil slick this however is oil free it's water based 
I was put in the direction of this through a Bare Minerals um, advisor, customer assistant, beauty guru, I don't know what you call them, the ones that work actually within boots and say, yeah, you should buy this. This works wonders for me. It targets the dry skin on my outer part of my face, but then it replenishes and rehydrates the skin because basically what the lady said to me was the oil that I produce over the duration of the day is because I'm not hydrating my skin enough i.e. I'm not drinking enough water throughout the day so therefore the more water I drink the clearer my skin is and the less oil that I'm producing which does make complete sense because the oil that my skin produces is natural oil and it's just trying to like rehydrate itself so it does make sense so this is absolutely amazing it smells amazing as well but I can't remember what was in you what's in you do we have details on what's in you no but it even says on the side of this oily to combinated skins apply evenly to the face and neck don't ever forget to moisturize your neck otherwise you'll just get wrinkles really quickly and really dry skin and it just won't look pretty and to apply it in the morning and at night so moving on to this bad boy this is the molten brown recharge black pepper muscle soak i have traveled and been on my feet so much the past three weeks four weeks and i just feel like i need a new body i ache from head to toe so i sprinkle some of this into my bath every time i have a bath because i'm more of a shower person but every time i have a bubble bath i always put some of this in and it just relaxes you so so much like you can go into a bath feeling all achy and tired and fatigued and just meh and you get out and you feel like yes i can take on the world and this is turning into like a tampax advert it's just amazing it smells amazing it's not cheap but it does the job i think any muscle soak does the job perfectly it doesn't matter where you get them from whether it's high end or whether it's drugstore or whether you get it on the market i think any muscle soak works perfectly Granted, it's not as good as a massage, but we're not going into that. This is my final product, and I say it's a product. It's not really a product, I suppose, but it's a movie. And it's Alice Through the Looking Glass, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love Alice in Wonderland. I love my Disney. I love this. I just love it. It's like my all-time favourite movie now. It's like beaten all my other favourite movies that I have had for years. Little Mermaid, bye. Say hello to Alice. I absolutely love this movie. I wasn't lucky enough to see it in the cinema, but when I saw it in Sainsbury's the other day, I was like... But I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It's such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, you need to go buy it, download it, not illegally i'm watching you not illegally you do need to go watch this this is such a funny film it's a really good sequel to uh alice in wonderland it's actually a really good sequel i'm kind of hoping there's a third but i really don't think there will be a third but if they bring out a third i am gonna be so happy but yes it's a very good film yes i'll probably watch it later on today because I watched it twice last night and I watched it twice the night before that but who's who's counting so that is my April favorites done everything that I've spoken about in this video will be linked down below in the description like it always is all my socials are also linked down below wherever you are in the world I hope you're having a good day if you like this video then click the thumbs up comment down below and subscribe I make videos every Tuesday and i don't think i have anything else to say so until next time i will see you in my next video bye guys